couldn't pass And now we black and after anything they said we couldn't have See we ain't holding back so I suggest you keep your feelings tough You whack niggas left the game on E so we gon' fill it up We out here, young and rated, black and we troublesome Police ain't gon' be the only people you niggas running this Black Thoughts, man, is hella vulnerable, so, you know, what's, what's on your mind, man? My, uh, on my mind is us, man, to be honest, us as a people, where yeah. we at, where we been, where we going. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. What do you mean? What's, what's up with that? Bro, lately, I used to be thinking about, like, what's going on. And then I'd be thinking about, you know, like, my life and where I'm at. Because, like, in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you've been. That's right? Fact. And I'm born 88. I'm in Oakland. That's where I was born and raised at. So, I feel like... Our generation, we like the last real childhood, mm -hmm. and we're also the first of a lot of things. Like, I'm the first of my family to go to college, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm the last of my family to put up with the bullshit, yeah. you know? First thing, like, fatherhood, you know? Like, I feel like I didn't have a dad, but I feel like with my sons, I feel like I'm a good dad. I can say that. So I just feel like where we're at, where we've been, it's like, I just think back, bro, like, I was listening to Marvin Gaye the other day, right? Hey. And then he, I was, I'm listening to this shit, and I like hip hop, so I like lyrics. And then he was like, "Trigger happy, policing." Mm. And I was like, "Damn, like it's been the same shit for all these years." Facts. And ain't nothing changed. Nothing. And we doing the same thing. We praying to, to this the same false god, you know. We going going to work, doing the same thing, bro. And it's like we just waiting for something. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing ever gonna change, bro. Cause we 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 not acting on anything. You said we're what? We're stuck. We're idle. You mm. know, like it's like either either you gonna fight from the bully or you gonna run from him. Mm. And like, and we just stand there getting our ass whooped. We ain't even swinging back or running. Why you feel that way? Cause I listen to Marvin Gaye, bro, and they, then I listen to Kendrick, and I feel like they saying the same shit. And this is thirty years, thirty years, forty years difference. Yeah. You, like you, you would think in forty years, like we'd be talking about where we been, and like now look at us now, but it's like damn, like. It's like, damn, still look at us, you know? Mm -hmm. Damn, huh? Damn. Damn. So, um, you're a barber, right? I'm a barber. All right. I always wanted to know, like, what the hell is the pole? Like, what does that mean? What does All the pole right. mean? So, the barber pole is, in America, is three colors. Outside of America, it's mainly two colors, red and white. Mm -hmm. In America, they have the blue because of the American flag, for the most part. Now, uh, barbers, we used to be barber surgeons. So, you would go to the barber shop. You'll get a haircut, you'll get your teeth pulled, you could do bloodletting. You know what I'm saying? We were literally barber surgeons. So like you Damn. see like that, that steady hand of a surgeon, barber got that same straight razor steady hand. Damn, so crazy. what they would do back in the day is is after your client like yourself would leave the shop, I would hang the bandages out on this pole. And like bandages are white and it has red blood. And eventually the wind will make it swirl around the pole and then it'd be red and white. So it kind of looked like red and white. And then in America, we got, we got the blue for, for the veins. So you got the white is the bandages, the red is the blood from the client, and the blue is, is just the veins. So mm. that's, that's, that's what the barber bar, bar, bar pole means. That's crazy. Also, like, <laughs> hey, the shit is like, like, for us niggas, when we get our haircuts, like, <laughs> niggas feel like Diddy. Like, that shit is, like, vital for us. Yeah. Like, some people say, like, have you ever heard it, like, Barbers are therapists for niggas. Yeah, like, we are. That's Because I, I feel like as a barber, it's like, I feel like with me, like, every 30 minutes to an hour, I have a new person in my chair. So, new conversations, new problems, um, good, bad, ugly. Like, every 30 minutes, it changes, bro. So, when, when somebody comes down, bro, you ask them a question, you don't know what they're going to say. I say, what's up, T? How was your day? It's like, man. Yeah. Like, you don't know where it's going to go. And, and, and that's the beauty of it. And a barber, I feel like, it's not as many people that rank higher than a barber in a man's life. Mm-hmm. You got your wife, you know, whatever, your family. Mm -hmm. But outside of you, outside of that, your barber is, is up there. Hey, hey, especially in a, hey, especially for a black man, like, yeah. it's a nice little spot to hang out, chill. Like, I'm being talkative on this episode because barbershops is like, hey, shout out to my barber right here. Right yes, on. yes, yes, yes. Barbershop <laughs> is a place, bro, where you, you should be able to, no matter what you're going through, you're going to leave there better. Hey. You look good, feel good, you do good, bro. It's that simple. Boy, you, you leave that barbershop, you like, hey. That Snapchat going crazy, yeah. that Instagram yeah. going crazy. And, and honestly, the best part is I feel the best. Facts. Because it's, it's like I did that with my hands, you know? Like, with, with this here hand, like, I, I can create, like, a person's image, a person's confidence, bro. Hey, like, magic. It, it, it gets no better than that, bro. Hey, like, man. if you a black man out there, bro, or if you a black woman in general, 
if you are struggling and you sitting there, oh, I can't find a job, stop looking for a job and create a job. You mm -hmm. have these here hands. We're black. Like we're thinkers. We're creators. Like That's everybody needs a haircut. That's so a if you can fucking talk and you can and, and you have the slightest artistic ability, please put up, man. You always have cash in your pocket. That's a fact. What? What? We out here.